Sauce good? Sauce is a little bit thin. That sirloin's got to be cooked perfectly medium rare for my liking, but let's see what Sonia does. Chestnut mushroom sauce, really important to burn off the alcohol that's used, but get an underlying taste of it. There is nowhere to hide with this menu. She's picked something where anything goes wrong, we're going to know about it. It is a brave choice. I hope she pulls it off. Happy with your steaks? Yeah, I think so. You're not slicing the steak, no? You're serving it as it is? Um, no, I'm going to serve it as it is. It's not quite had the right amount of resting time. It's just a bit thin. Let's get to the watercress on. Yep. All right, you happy? Just going to give it a quick season. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Well done. I've made a sirloin steak for you today with Lyonnaise potatoes and a chestnut mushroom sauce with a garnish of watercress. I hope you enjoy my food. Oh, thank, thank you, Sonia. Thank you. When we read the menu, we knew this was a simple dish and it needed to look the part, and I think she's carried this off beautifully. It just looks like a comforting, great dish. I really am excited to tuck into this. I think it's lovely. My steak is absolutely perfectly cooked. It's medium rare. OK, the sauce might be a bit thin, but I love the way she's cooked the mushrooms. They've still got a texture. I can't fault it for what it is. I think it's a wonderful tasting plate of food. I really love the potatoes. They've got crispiness to them. Some caramelised onions running through it. And then the sauce has a nice flavour. It's still a little bit thin. It could do with covering it all a little bit more if it was a bit thicker. But overall, I think it's a nicely presented, well-executed steak dinner. I think it's delicious. She hasn't been afraid to put lashings of black pepper on there. For me, this is the best dish of the day so far, flavour-wise. There's flavour in that sauce. It's a shame it's too thin. Steak really nicely seasoned. It's rare, not medium rare. I'm OK with that. And I like the potatoes. And you know what? It's a really good start. There's a decent foundation here. You've got 15 minutes for your dessert, but your brownie's done, right? Uh, yes. We have saved my favourite dessert until <laughs> last. Chocolate fudge brownie. You can't go wrong with that. That brownie needs to be soft on the inside. Your hazelnut praline, which adds crisp, but adds texture, and that's what I think we're looking for. Sounds lovely. Oh, no. Oh, that's unlucky. Oh, that's unlucky. Oh, that's unlucky. Oh. I'm a bit of a fan of toffee vodka. I think that all sounds heavenly but it does need to be executed well because, it, again, it's quite a simple dish. You've got a minute. Go on. Well done. Thank well you. done. I've made chocolate fudge brownie with hazelnut praline and uh, toffee vodka cream, which I hope you enjoy. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank, Thank you, you, Sonia. Thank you. I stand by my dishes. I think they taste really nice. My family think they taste nice, so fingers crossed. <laughs> That's lovely. Mm. I think the brownie is cooked perfectly, so it's still gooey in the middle. Toffee, uh, vodka, cream works really well. This is a brownie as it should be. It's got dark, rich chocolate running through it. It's got a nice crust on top. It's brought to life with that fresh orange zest. The praline adds crunch. It has this popping candy effect in your mouth, which is really lovely. You can just feel the love with the cooking coming through. Her food is heartwarming and it's homely, but it it's packs a real punch of flavour. I've just thoroughly enjoyed eating her two plates of food. They might not be the cleverest plates of food we've eaten, but I think they're the best two plates of food. It's a very rich and sweet brownie. Well made, actually. I love the flavour of that toffee vodka in there. That's wonderful. And the crunch of nuts. It's a very decent brownie. <laughs>